So a couple of days ago, we took a look at the new S-Casa in Hamburg, and really, an S-Class is almost the second coming of Christ. So it kind of overshadows what was in the car, and we talked about autonomous driving in that film. So Mercedes decided to give us a little bit of a prettier, perhaps, wrapper to the same autonomous driving. Okay, let's get this out of the way immediately. That's a V8 up there. The top goes down, this car is very fast. That is not why we are here. We are here to test out a very fancy computer that has a stereo camera and a radar system in the front bumper so the car can drive itself and it ain't a Prius. Do not attempt this at home. I am a professional somewhere in the countryside of Denmark so you can't find me. And if the law does, I'm out of your jurisdiction. So here we go. We put on the Distronic Plus and we got it set to 77 kilometers an hour. Remember, this is a low speed system. The car is not going to drive to the potential of that engine. Let's see. Now we're on 80, I'm sorry. And here we go. Hands off the wheel. It's reading the lines, the stereo camera and the radar. Look, see that? Hands are not on the wheel. It's steering itself. Again, most important, this is meant for low speed and in town and traffic. I love you guys, but I am not going to attempt that at high speeds or in a city because I really don't want to do that to these people. Turns, not so much. Uh, no, it doesn't work as fast. So let's go around the turn. Let's try it again. Look, raps. So let's do test number two in this nice little town. Don't mind us, we're doing a very technical test. Don't mind the flashy Mercedes in the gray, palladium gray with the red top and the red interior. It's not a Danish or a German combination. I'd say it's more Italian, wouldn't you think? Our speed limit is now cut. So we're gonna go into Distronic Plus. It's a little low, 58 kilometers an hour. So why don't we put it up a little bit. Back at the 70 kilometers an hour, hands off the wheel, the car is reading the right white line. It's pushing us back into the lane. Left dotted lines, it's pushing us over, it's pushing us over, it's pushing us over. Slight, very slight, and that's oncoming traffic, by the way. We just did this in a real world experiment. We did not hit the oncoming cars. But we're about to go off the road, we're not. The car saved us. It does like to lean a little bit to the right, doesn't it? Now this is the way to take in a country drive. You just kind of sit back, take in the scenery, maybe have your best girl with you. Remember kids, don't try this at home. And if you do, I didn't tell you to do it. Okay, I would like to point out that a kid from New York is in a car driving itself in Denmark. How do you like them apples? <laughs> 